What's going on, friends? I've said it for a long time, and I've said it quite often. Don't count out that short stroke twin cam 95. A 95 inch kit is one of the best things you can do for your twin cam 88. Now you pair this with the right aftermarket camshaft, you're looking at horsepower at nearly 100 and in well over 100 foot pounds of torque. Now a twin cam 88 with a cam swap alone, they do pretty well, but it's really nothing that's really going to blow the roof off and set the world on fire. But it is a major upgrade over the stock 60 to 67 horsepower and roughly the 70 to 80 foot pounds of torque you're going to see depending on whose dyno it's on. Now in a twin cam 88 doing a cam swap only with a wood TW6, we're looking at roughly 82 horsepower and about 90 foot pounds of torque. Now, while this isn't too bad at all, and that is a huge upgrade over stock in the stage one, we're still pretty far away from that 100 horsepower and 100 foot pound of torque mark. And guys, don't forget, if you enjoy the video today, please don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. By hitting the like button, you're telling the YouTube algorithm that you enjoyed this content and we can help get this video out to others that are looking to upgrade their Harley. Now, the unique thing about the Twin Cam 88 is it was the only Twin Cam engine that used the short 4-inch stroke. Now, with the 96 and the 103, that was later upgraded to a 4.375-inch stroke. Now, I say upgraded, but that 4-inch stroke really does have its place. Now, the 4-inch stroke is what makes upgrading an 88 to a 95 one of the most cost-effective and beneficial upgrades that you can actually do to the motor. It is relatively inexpensive and with the short stroke the engine revs a lot faster so that means the power and torque come on a lot quicker and it really makes the bike a lot of fun to ride. And we're going to take a look at some examples of what a 95 inch motor can actually do a little later on in the video and quite honestly the numbers might surprise you on just with it being a 95 inch engine. You can absolutely take your stock cylinders and have them bored out to a 95, a 97, or even as far as a 98 with the stock cylinders. But the benefit to the Twin Cam 95 is that these kits are available and ready right off the shelf. You don't have to tear your bike down, send your parts out to a machine shop, and then wait for turnaround time to get those back, and then get your bike all reassembled. You can order the parts, have them in, get your bike tore down, and do this kit all in one weekend. Well, pending you have exactly everything you need. I can't really think of a time I've ever had anything I needed all in one shot. But with riding season right around the corner, being able to order these kits, get them in, nobody really has time to tear their bike down, send it out, and wait on that turnaround time for a machine shop. So we were first introduced to the 95s back in 2003, on the Screamin' Eagle bikes, which, well, basically the CVO models. Harley-Davidson basically took a stock 88, and they paired these engines with a 3.88-inch cylinder bore, again, with the 4-inch stroke, which gave us the 95-cubic-inch displacement. Now, Harley claimed 90 foot-pounds of torque and roughly about 80 horsepower with these engines, but that seems a little high because what really held these engines back was Harley-Davidson didn't do anything with the cam. They used that stock 468 lift cam that they used in the 88s, the 95, the stock 95, and they also went on to use that in the 96 and the 103 non-HO models. But what Harley did do with the 95s out of the factory is they did increase the compression ratio from 8.5 to 1 on the, on the 88s, and they went to 9.4 to 1 on the twin cam 95s, which is essentially what we're shooting for when you do the conversion. Now, of course, Harley-Davidson for years has offered a 95-inch kit through Screamin' Eagle. It is a good kit, good cylinders, good pistons, comes with all the hardware and gaskets. The only thing that really holds this one back is they use the Screamin' Eagle 203 cam, and we all know the Screamin' Eagle cams are a little bit lacking. Now, with the Screamin' Eagle cam, Harley's claiming you get 98 foot-pounds of torque and right about 80 horsepower. Now, the Screaming Eagle 203 cam, that it's doing its job. That is a good mid-range high torque cam. So 98 foot-pounds of torque, that looks good. But what we're lacking is the horsepower. The horsepower is only roughly about 80 horse. Now for a thousand bucks, that's pretty steep when we know that we could go out and get a aftermarket cam like the Wood TW6, which we saw earlier, which makes about 92 foot-pounds of torque and roughly about 80 horsepower. So we're sacrificing a little bit of torque there 
but only at a fraction of the cost. We're talking about three fifty to five hundred dollars versus a grand to fifteen hundred dollars to completely do the whole big bore conversion with the Screaming Eagle. So if you did want to get Screaming Eagle cylinders and Screaming Eagle's pistons, you can put this kit together yourself and pair it with your favorite aftermarket cam. Harley Davidson sells the 95 inch big bore cylinders, the 3.88 inch bore cylinders through Screaming Eagle. You can actually pick up a pair for about $300 and that's not too bad at all. You can get the matching pistons in cast for about 200 bucks or go for the forged pistons for about $300 which either way that's still pretty steep. I would go for the forged pistons myself and even then for $300 I think I would go ahead and look at a set of Wiseco's. But using those pair of cylinders with flat top pistons and your favorite aftermarket cam that's going to put you right at about a thousand dollars probably maybe give or take more or less right there but about a thousand bucks but you're going to get a whole heck of a lot more power than you would with the Screaming Eagle 203 cam. So bolting on a set of big bore cylinders with flat top pistons at 9.4 to 1 compression, paired with a wood TW6 cam, you're looking at roughly 93 horsepower and 108 foot-pounds of torque. Now we're really starting to get somewhere. All this power was made with stock heads, slip-on exhaust, on a carbureted bike with a jet kit. Now if we take the same setup with the wood TW6 cam, and throw in a set of mildly prepped heads, we're looking at 104 horsepower and 116 foot-pounds of torque. So just with the addition of some mildly prepped heads, we got an additional 10 horsepower and an additional 8 foot-pounds of torque. That's not bad at all. Now if you really want to take your 95-inch kit to the max, Zippers has got you covered with absolutely everything you're going to need in their 95-inch muscle kit. Now these are quite a bit more expensive at about $3,100, but you gotta keep in mind, you get a whole lot of stuff with these, including if you have an EFI bike, they're gonna give you a Thundermax tuner, or if you have a carbureted bike, you have a choice of a s, &S carburetor or a Makuni carburetor. Now these kits really bump the horsepower and torque very, very nicely. We're looking at about 110 horsepower and about 112 foot-pounds of torque. Probably not likely what you're expecting to see out of a twin cam engine with less than 100 cubic inches. So guys, we've all heard it. There's no replacement for displacement. But as you can see, you really don't want to count out a twin cam 88 that's been converted to a 95. Now the 95 really has its place because on the twin cam 88, to get any more than a 95, you can bore out to a 98 or, or SNS does have a 100 inch kit that works with your stock crank. So basically the whole displacement increase is going to come from bore alone. So guys, as you can see, the Twin Cam 95 can really make some power. And as I mentioned, with that really short stroke, this thing is going to spin up really quick, so you're going to be into that torque and horsepower in no time. The 95 is not a lazy motor. You get some of these big, long stroke, big bore engines, and their power is a little bit lazy and comes on a little slower. So with the 95, it is a little bit different ride, but it's a lot of fun. Now the 95 is very cost effective because it's available right off the shelf and as I mentioned you can bore the stock cylinders out or even SNS has a 100 inch bolt on kit. That's a great kit but it's about 1100 bucks and even then you're still going to have to add the cost of a cam into that and maybe some head work if you choose to do so. But with the 95 you're able to get into this with the cam for under a thousand dollars and get a little bit of mild head work done and you're looking at horsepower and torque at 100 or above. Torque's definitely going to be over 100. Horsepower, probably going to hover around that, 100, around that 100 mark, but just depends if you decide to go with springs or get some head work done, because if you go with springs, get some head work done, you can get a more aggressive cam, and that'll put you well over 100, and that'll push your torque even higher, up to about 120. So guys, I really wanted to make a case for the 95, because anybody that talks to me about an 88 or they have a 95, I always tell them, don't count those things out. They can really make some impressive horsepower and torque. They can really run with just about anything, and the best part about it is they make all that horsepower and torque, and they do it very reliably. But anyhow, guys, I hope that helped you out, gave you a little insight into a 95. They're really not that bad, and just because it's a smaller displacement, don't overlook it. But anyhow, guys, that's all I've got for you this week. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that like button, and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. But until next week, you guys stay safe on the streets, ride smart, dodge the cars, and I'll catch you guys back here next week with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.